Welcome to the third stop of the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series presented by Phoenix Boats. And a new face here, Darian Craig, going to fill in today for Robbie Floyd. Third stop, Neely Henry, you've been here, you've fished it. What do you expect today? I don't know. This time of year, you, it, there's always big bags caught. And looking you know, backwards a couple weeks, there's been some really big bags weighed in the last couple weeks. So I expect the same thing to happen. It's the Alabama Bass Trail. These guys are the best in the state. They always catch them, even if they say they're not going to catch them. I, I just expect they're going to catch them. You know, we've seen that there might be fog in the forecast today, but we know there's going to be high bluebird skies later on this afternoon. It's going to heat up, and I think the fishing will too. So let's get out on the water for the Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the day. We're on Alabama Bass Trail, North Division on Neely Henry. And as you can, can hear and barely see in the background, the boats are taking off. Uh, I decided to come down the lake, put in down the lake. We're going to cover the lower end of the lake today. The guys are taking off. They're about halfway through, uh, through takeoff. We're going to get out there, see what these guys are going to do today. Good morning, everybody. We've got, uh, we had a little foggy run this morning. And uh, as we got up here, just north of the ramp, I noticed one thing pretty quickly was there was a lot more boats on the river than what I personally expected. And I, I don't know, maybe we saw 15 or 20 boats first thing this morning, just right, fishing right on the river, right at the, at the ramp. Here behind me, we've got boat number 39. And he says he's, he hasn't caught any yet, but he looks like he's really dialed in, maybe using forward-facing sonar. And so we stopped in here to watch him. Well, we made the quick little run from blast off and caught up with Mike Kukendale and Adam Stuckey. Guys, uh, it's a little foggy this morning, and I think y'all are just kind of taking advantage of the fog and yep. saying, hey, why not just stop right here and see what we can do? That's it, that's pretty much it. We didn't have far to go. We run it down just a little piece right here. We can get on it. Somebody else ain't sitting there because of the fog. Uh, but uh, like you said, we just come down here, stop, and uh, get out of the traffic for a minute. See what happens. Maybe pick up a couple. And we're always taking the safety first approach to this. I mean, we got plenty of lights. All these guys know how to fish around fog and been through it. So if it moved in really right at takeoff and you know, we're just gonna be safe here, all of us, and just kind of take a little break here. And the fish could be here. You never know. It's a, this is a city community spot, we would call it. Yeah. How was practice for you guys? Practice is great. Uh, probably one of the best I've had all year. You know, like got to come over. And, uh, it's on call last week. Uh, come over and not a great deal of fish and caught good fish, too. I know you're just getting started this morning. Did the fog surprise you this morning? Yeah, it was a good little surprise. It wasn't too bad, though. Yep. Was this the area you planned to start, or did the fog kind of change your plans? Uh, we caught, uh, we shook off some good fish here in practice. Okay. So, hoping on we shook off some good anyway. Right. So my plan for the day is to cover kind of the south end of the lake. Uh, I really was going to try to start off in Canoe Creek this morning, but because of the fog, uh, we actually trailered uh, by a truck um, to Highway 77. We put in there at the, the new boat ramp there. We just kind of decided to hang out there and wait for a boat to kind of come to us scenario. And this is a boat, first boat that kind of came in the area. But a lot of boats uh, did run further south. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Automotive, where it's always Bill Penny time. By Jacks, all about the south. And by Sweet Home Alabama. In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and a passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. Through the years, motors have changed, electronics have changed, but the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. 
Old Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. The perfect checking account doesn't exist. Not at a bank, that is. So why do you keep looking there? At Amherst, you can get no minimum balance or monthly fees, an instant issue debit card, and free checks with unlimited check writing. But who doesn't want more? Like a rewards program you'll actually use, and convenient digital tools that make it easy to manage your account from anywhere. Now you could try and find that at a bank, or you could save yourself the trouble by checking with us. Stetson Blaylock! Todd Otten! Hank Terry, let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! up in the back. Must be a small one, the way the partner's acting. Got it in the net though. Let's see if they put it in live well. Fish is going in the live well. Said I'm far enough off, uh, I couldn't tell uh, how big that fish was, but this time of day, it's just good to get started with keepers. Yeah, we got the trailer motor on high, just kind of working this bank down here. The game plan today, just kind of cover some water at this point? Pretty much, just kind of cover as much as we can. Stay shallow, fish the grass, fish the rock. Got to keep the trailer motor wide open. Yep. Fish on. All right, you guys just see we got a fish catch here. So the guy said they were going to run the bank really fast and until they get to a fish and catch one and they usually get a little flurry going on around them. So going to slow down just for a second, get the live wells going. So like they said, trolling motor is going to be on high and we're just going to cover some water and we'll get a reaction strike and plan worked out. Well, let's see what Darian has going on a little north of us. We made a run to an area that we kind of expected there was going to be a lot of boats at. 
And when we got there, there, there just wasn't a lot of boats in. What I noticed though, when we were running up, there was a lot of people on the bank. So I personally think that this fog just pushed everyone to the bank, said, let's wait till that fog gets out of here, see if we can pick off one or two before we make longer runs. The fog cleared a little bit and the boats have left the main river from even where we had seen them five or 10 minutes before that. So already things are changing really quickly as far as where guys are moving to and where they're fishing at. So we got up to this area, um, boat number 47, and they've got one fish right now. Um, haven't really talked to them a ton, just wanted to sit back and watch what they're doing. Looks like they're kind of working a two prong approach. One guy's fishing kind of in the river, then we've got another guy fishing up a little bit, maybe uh, throwing more casts, I guess, into the creek, maybe shallower water. So we're gonna just bounce around into this creek and see kind of what's going on. How's it going so far this morning? We've had three or four bites, uh, not eating real good. We caught one of them, so we've only got one fish, about two pounds right now. Okay. Not, not a lot of activity this morning. Okay. A lot of short strikes. You think you're going to have to cover a lot of water today? Well, we were about 100 and something, so we, this is really the second stop we've made. So we right. fished about 45 minutes for our first stop and uh, caught one fish. And then we came down through here, got three bites, and didn't hook up with any of them. So okay. We're, we're going to keep on rolling. You think these fish are spawning? Is that what's making them kind of finicky? Um, they've been spawning for about a month now, different okay. fish coming and going. So uh, there probably st are some still on bed, but I think just the big rains last week, big right. fluctuation in water, uh, from one turbine to three turbines. And right. I've been running three turbines all week. You just got the fish a little bit in a funk, but somebody's catching them somewhere. I know oh, yeah. spots are biting pretty good. We haven't resorted to spot fishing yet, but we made 40 days over. Okay. But uh, probably the spots will play bigger role today than most people think. Okay. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is sponsored by Garmin, by Academy Sports and Outdoor, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more right after this. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. Explosion! Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. <laughs> Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for a coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. I'm on a helicopter. Looks like boneless wings are back at Jack's. Juicy, boneless chicken wings in three bold, mouth-watering flavors. And people love them so much, there's bound to be a napkin shortage. Jack's, all about the South. Hear that sizzling? That's bologna whispering, I'm back. The big bologna breakfast sandwich is back at Jack's. Two thick cut slices of fried bologna, eggs, and cheese on Texas toast for $3.99. Jack's, all about the South. Guys, how's it going so far today? We've got two right here. We just caught a, about a four pound spot of bass and okay. two and a half. All right. So you got good quality. And that's the only two bites you've had? That's the only two that we've had. Okay. 
Can you give me a description of what you're fishing here? So, there's a road bed that runs down through the middle of this pocket, and there's okay. a little hump on the side of it. That okay. Catch them on. All right. You think these fish spawn out here on this hump? The two that we've caught are green spawn. Okay. But I kind of feel like that's what they're doing. It's a rocky bottom. Right. It's a place they can kind of move up and move in and out on. You know, I talked earlier about how this lake can really, really be finicky. Um, I think that has a lot to do with it, that it's such a big shad population that these fish, when they want to feed, they, they can really decide to do it when they want to. Um, and it kind of makes it, makes it really hard to, uh, to catch them in between those feeding periods. But man, when those windows open up and they do feed, it, it can really change things in a hurry. Would not surprise me if we hear during the weigh-in that a lot of these teams just had, had little windows of opportunities where they really caught a lot of fish in a short period of time. Got hooked up here. So far the fish is staying down. They've got decent quality in the two bites they have here, so maybe this would be another one. Maybe not quite as big, as certainly not the four. Good solid fish. I appreciate you bringing that to the camera side. That's pretty good. Yes, sir. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Miss Kay, hey, we got a pretty good one right here. Well, guys, how many is this? Calling time. Calling time? Calling time. That's what I like to hear. We got ourselves a limit. What kind of size we got? Uh, about the telltale size. This right here was three and a half. We're about 11 feet seven. But we've we've been fishing behind some boats that's went through areas already and there was one little pocket we went in, there's three or four boats that went in there and we went in right behind them and caught three, so and they were fishing fast. Yeah, they were fishing. That's for the for the viewers, that's something that's really important. We've seen all morning and we've heard it on in our comms is um, you know, they just mentioned they pulled in a pocket, they see three three boats in there and it was a pocket they wanted to fish, but they, they noticed those guys just burning the bank and fishing really fast, whereas they said that they've had a lot more success slowing way, way down, and they're fishing the slowest of any boats I bet we've seen this morning, and um, it's paying off. They've got five in the box. Said they've got two good ones. I don't know if we get to see one right here, maybe. There we go, there's a good one, for sure. Is the other one about that one, that size too? A little smaller. A little smaller, so that was a big one. Big one. Let's go. That's what we're doing. So we've had a great day here on Neely Henry. The sun has come out, it's warm. It's the first event all year long. We've had really good weather. It wasn't real cold this morning. Other than the fog, it's been a perfect day. We've seen a lot of fish catches, a lot of different areas of the lake. Weigh in is gonna come up next. It should be very exciting. Stay tuned. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company, by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor, and by Mountain Dew. There's more to come. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here, sweating the details, making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, 
we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. Here we go, Bo 16, Lucas Wright, Donald Wright. Their weight today is 11.3, and they're gonna weigh one for big fish. We've got a new big bass leader, 5.36, awesome fish. Says we got a decent bag of fish. Looks like it could possibly take over the lead, and it does, 15.23, 15.23, definitely a new leader by three pounds, good job. Tell me about how your day went. It went good, we messed up a bunch. We should have had five big ones. Broke one off, pulled three off, uh, caught several fish, but just the big ones kept getting off. Looks like we've got a new Mountain Dew Big Bass leader. 5.68 largemouth, very, very pretty fish. Brand new Big Bass leader. Next up, we've got boat number 25, Adam Brown, Greg Diggs. Looks like they've got a big bag of fish. Looks like we might have ourselves a brand new leader. 18 pounds even. 18 pounds even, they're gonna even gonna weigh one for big fish. Looks like we have just barely took over another brand new big bass, Mountain Dew big bass, 5.71. Uh, we went up river, fish shallow all day, um, started off trying to throw top water, had maybe a couple bites, didn't work out, and we ended up going with a spinner bait and a chatter bait all day and catching them. The next bag has got a big fish. We've got five fish for boat number 93, Alan Barnett and Tyler Caldwell. Looks like a big bag of fish, too. Very big bag of fish. We've got ourselves a brand new leader, 19.83. Incredible bag of fish. Oh, uh, yeah, we started out pretty quick. Um, I mean, especially, it was, it was really surprising for us because the way our practice went, we had terrible practice last two days. And uh, one keeper. Just, just started out, yeah, he caught one right off the bat. And we didn't catch a lot of fish today, but we caught a lot of good quality fish. We have ourselves a brand new leader, 20.99, very good bag of fish. It started slow for us with that fog. Uh, we had pretty good practice. We've been fishing for a couple weeks over here. And we didn't get any bites early like what we thought we would. And just started fishing around and we knew where a couple were on bed, went and caught them and actually that big one was on bed. Big bag, another over 20 pound bag, 20.04. That has got them in second place. Adam Bain, Chris Colley. What is it you were looking for? It was actually just clear water. We were sight fishing. So we caught most of just about everyone on sight fishing today. Okay. Like I say, it was very limited on where you could see for visibility. Right. So we kind of made the best out of what we had. Okay. Benji Seaborn, Jonathan Seaborn, we have a brand new leader, ladies and gentlemen. 22 pounds, 22.19 pounds. 8.29 for the big fish of this event. Mountain Dew Big Bass, first place. Absolute awesome day, guys. Let's get a picture. 2219 with an 829 big fish. Neely Henry, some would say those are Tennessee river weights, but you guys proved Neely Henry can produce that. Tell me how you got it done today. 
Well, it, it, it was a slow day. I mean, we had hopes coming in that we was going to catch some good fish. But like I said, we never caught a fish in practice. And um, we started on a six pounder this morning. Fished for two and a half hours, didn't have a bite. Couldn't get it to bite. And I ended up catching four little bitty fish out of the back of the boat. And then the day just went on, pick up a four pounder, and then another three pounder. And, and uh, went Nine to a creek. <laughs> went to a creek where there's some good fish, and they were still in there. And we caught a four and a half another one four and an eight pounder. So, you know, it all changes quick. You know, it took all day to take care of this. I mean, did the fog bother you at all, that, you know, early in the morning? No, we didn't run very far. I mean, yeah. we didn't go five miles this way or five miles this way. Yeah. And the fog bothered as far as seeing on the glasses, you know. It, yeah, it, you know, sun, tip, but... typically for us, when it's foggy like that, fish don't bite good in the morning. Uh, we knew the bite would get better as the day went on. It would have really got better if the water hadn't dropped enough. Yes. Place, you know. Guys, 2219, again, some would say that that is Tennessee River fishing, but Neely Henry showed out today. We're headed far down south at the next tournament, Lake Eufaula. They say that's the big fish capital of the world, but I'm not so sure after today. Guys, we'll see you next on Bally Sports Southeast.